It is March 5th, 2023 at the Savannah, Georgia Armstrong University campus. This is light post number nine. If you go that way, it's eight and seven. This way, the numbers get higher. But if you stand at number nine and look this way, there is native coral honeysuckle growing along this fence. There's some right here and some, no, I think that's cross vine. There's also some right here. So, it's March. So if you're going to be walking in the woods, you need to bring something and watch your step because there are snakes out. All of these are the baby coral honeysuckles. Here is the parent plant, and the flowers are, of course, on the other side of the fence. There's some flower buds through there, and open flowers there. This is coral honeysuckle, named for the coral pink color of the flowers. It is native to North America, and you can tell which are the babies for this species because... Their stems are, if the camera will focus, this one isn't a very good example, but they're kind of a pale pink or almost purple color. The other honeysuckles will have, at this time of year at their base, they'll have like oak shaped leaves. Sorry, I got distracted by a butterfly. And a woodpecker. All right, this video is going to be interrupted by me looking at this woodpecker. Get a load of that woodpecker. Let me get my actual camera out. The video of plants will resume shortly. Alright, well, it's not showing up here at all, but it's just climbing up the tree and it was really cute. Let me get a picture with my actual camera. Alright, anyways, back to the honeysuckle. Well, obviously I have to try and find some Japanese honeysuckle to compare to. But if we go back over here to lamppost number nine. See, it's nine. If you look, if you just put your back to it, there's a little black cherry tree here. And at this black cherry tree's base are a bunch of little babies. So these ones are easier to see. Hopefully the camera will show it. It's kind of showing it, but the stem is like a pale pink blush. Yeah, that one shows it. So that's how you tell them apart from other honeysuckles in spring. And then for the older plants, sometimes the stem will be bright red, but I can't remember what time of year they do that. And you can see this one crawling along the ground to spread further. And that one's got a you can sort of see how pink it is. It's, it's a really pale pink, but it doesn't show up well on camera. But if you come here, you'll be able to see it. But if you want to get a clone from this, I suggest bringing a water bottle to put it in. You just snip off a piece of stem. Like I would snip it off right here on this one. And then bury almost all of the stem. And keep it well watered. For best results, put... A clear plastic bag or an empty glass jar or something over top of it to trap humidity and just keep it well watered and it should grow well. I'm not going to take a cutting because I don't have a water bottle or anything to keep it in and I'd be walking home so it would definitely be dead by the time I got back. The less stress you give to the plant the better 
the more likely your cutting will survive. You can also take cuttings from older plants, doing the same thing, just taking them off, putting them in dirt, and that works really well too. Alright, so that's the end of this video. Bye-bye.